Hey Hot Garbage Squad, Foxy here with another Calibria Crystal Guardians video. Today we are going to talk about a super OP unit that I double wand, aka skilled up in this game, Popo. Before we get into that, let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying this game, what you like about it, because honestly, I've been enjoying this game a lot and I want to answer a few questions that I get a lot. Um, do you still play Summer Resort? Yes, I do. Do you still enjoy Summer Resort? Not as much as at this game. Second question. What do you think of the new server splits, America 1, America 2? If they continue on that trend, in my opinion, it's, gonna, it's probably going to kill the game. And it's like a money grab. And then they're going to merge the servers. It's not really good. All right. So without, without that being said, let's get into the video today. And Popo. -po. So this, to give you a translation, this is Wind Panda, but on drugs. All right. He is super powerful. He is not even evolved because I have no essences. I used all my essences on the Necromancer to fuse him up, all the snap fours and get him made. This video, we're talking about Popo here. So Popo, let's see his skill tree, okay? So I max skilled him. So this is the build I went as suggested by my, my viewers. It's the Rage build. Uh, so this is not the default skill. This is... I believe bam, yeah, Bamboo Groove is your default skill with a defense break and a bleed, which is a dot um, damage over time. This rage skill is basically you get stacks and then you go, you basically do more damage, I believe. Um, that's what this rage is, okay? So I've noticed that in combination with the rage and this skill, Jade Zen, you put a counter attack up and you take less damage, basically. So when you have a negative sweep speed wind panda, we already know from my siege videos when you 1v3, a counter buff negative wind does so much deeps because the enemy just kills themselves. Similarly, he does that in this game, except he does a lot more damage. And then the first skill is Voodoo Staff. This is a dot. So if you don't know, if you're not familiar with the Popo, what he's capable of doing is maximum dots. This first skill will land so many dots because it's also a multi-hit and it's useful for C10, running dots in C10 for an initial um, Giants team, what you guys call in Summoner's War. Um, it's super good. So let me just do a run here and show you kind of what his skills are. So if you don't know familiar, Blackpool Hills is the Feymon of this game. So right now, all of these don't have any too good um, too many good runes, but we are looking to level up one of our units here. So it's three star. Let's go and level some of these mushrooms. So the, the auto five feature is very nice. Um, although I'm not running five runs, I'm gonna do one here. But look, look at the panda here. So Necromancer does a little bit of healing, but look at the panda. All he needs to do is pop the third skill. And then when all your fodder dies, all your farmers die, he can just kill everything. And the damage is actually immense. And when you dot bosses multiple times and you, re and you revenge them and you auto attack them, they do, they take so much HP. Popo is one of the best units in this game right now. However, I do not suggest you to use him as your first six star farmer because it is very slow. If you're okay with two minute runs, one minute runs, then sure. This panda is for you as a six star farmer and you can also use him in c10 aka giants b10 however if you have a thing like a lich king a medusa for example great aoe units that you can also use elsewhere in the game that's why a six star farmer for you get your exp is probably a better idea also to note the exp curve in this game is a lot higher than summoner's war i've been training hey my necromancer hey my necromancer is max skill have you noticed that oh yeah, I've been training him all day, and he's finally just 35 now. Or was he 35 with stress of this video? Yeah. Yeah, it was. But anyways, I don't have any fodder to level him up, but the XP curve is really high, so farming efficiently is actually really important. So I spent about 8 hours, or maybe 6, eight, six to 8 hours to get him from 1 to 35 when I just fused him. So let's take a look at the runes I built him on. So you're probably wondering, how do I build him? Uh, well, I didn't involve him, so his stats are still kind of garbage, but he is 6-star, and I think there's two builds you can do with him right now. So if you look at runes, I don't have too much good runes. I farmed a lot of swift runes, aka agile runes. I put on 6 agile. The reason why I put him on agile is because 
a lot of your units that you'll be running in Colossus will be support type units like the Necromancer, like the Harpy for example, like the Mummy, and these support type units use Swift. So if you're using your Panda to farm for example, Black Pool compared to Earl, Earl Plains, this gives you Agile runes. The rune requirements to farm this is a lot lower. Like this, my Panda with plus 12 runes cannot kill this stage because he doesn't have enough HP to soak it up in revenge. He's very close to it, but it's just not there yet. So if you're if you're like me, and you're kind of you got you got bad runes because you got it from free to play from the event, blah blah blah, from the missions. And Earl Plains, you're probably farming these specific scenarios to get EXP, but also specific Swift runes for all of your supports for um, C10. So I'll show you the runes I have on him. It's built on slot two is HP. It's just, they're just regular five star runes that were white slash green from scenario they're nothing good but i'm guaranteed i'm pretty sure this will take me into c10 very well because as a kid as a unit he is busted it's hp defense and defense so for the subs honestly they were just random and they were white runes that rolled into it i'm not farming I'm not like look at this. I'm not farming Colossus right now because I only do it for the daily. My goal right now is to six star all of my Colossus units and farm Colossus straight off the bat with scenario runes. That's why I did Summoner's War. I think it will work in this as well. I've already fused my Necromancer and everything like that. So the panda is super busted. Also, if I can show you an arena, if there is an arena, um, that'd be cool, but probably not. If I can show you a battle here, <laughs> one defense. All right, sick, nasty. <laughs> the awesome showcase, Foxy. Face of one defense with, wait, my pen is not even in here. Oh my God. Oh my, I just, all right, maybe I crop this part of the video out or maybe I don't. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, what tangent of this video though. One defense is so hard to come by honestly it is so hard because everyone has like a they're all like tryhards or something man like seriously okay this is taking too long okay you probably skipped this part of the video this is, this was unintended guys <laughs> so troll all right but like what i wanted to say was the reason why i want to hey this is kenneth he just joined our guild <laughs> so what I wanted to say about the panda is his kit is very overloaded and it can do some good things. You think panda can solo this? All right, solo versus solo. Can we do it? All right. <laughs> if I lose this, that's a wing I just lost. It's a one hour wing. Please don't lose. Panda, all right, go. Panda will just counterattack now, right, boys? Look at this. <laughs> he just kills himself. Look at this. Look at those dots. And I lapped him. <laughs> All right, we got more 1v1 one, one one action with the panda or nah? Uh, if you find me in your defense log, please revenge bat on me. Anyways, okay, going back to runes. All right, going back to runes. So I wanted to say, uh, the reason why I put her on Swift is because, look at these substats. When they're white runes, there's no speed on them, right? I don't have one rune with speed. And by getting the Swift set, I can get 25% more speed, and that's where my speed's coming from. Alternatively, if you farmed this dungeon right here, Ancient Forest, for whatever reason, for Blessing Runes, the HP runes here, that also works if you put it as like speed, defense, HP, for example, because you get the HP bonus from the three set, or you can do like speed, defense, defense to get your speed. But like I said earlier, I'm farming the Agile runes for all my support units is a better investment in my time to have a bigger pool and that is why I ruined it like that. Okay, uh, so I still need to evolve it But overall, I'm loving it and if we visit the skills again. This skill is a Cleanse plus crit rate buff very similar to the original wind panda But there is no counter buff and this is the counter they kind of split it up and for the rest of these skills this skill i don't think i would ever use while being attacked 7 percent chance to reduce damage taken by 20 percent like a darian passive while alive reduce all allies hp and regen by 50 percent so that doesn't make too much sense for me for you to do it in a dungeon 
maybe like I would say this is like a more PvP thing if you use it for like arena defense, for example. Um, but I like right now it's either you run Hidden Rage or you run Bamboo Grave. Uh, I, honestly, I've been loving this build right now. This is more of a support style build for C10, but this is more of a damage build with tons of dots because when you revenge, you're landing Voodoo stuff with tons and tons of dots. All right, anyways, sorry I went on a tangent, but I'm I'm pretty happy about this panda and i highly suggest if you got this as your first monster don't re-roll if you got it six star a star with part of c10 team all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video and foxy up don't forget to like and subscribe